Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to feed you guys in good health. Personally, I am fine as you can see Kisumu is also fantastic. And maybe you could also let me know where you're watching the video from the county or the country in case you are out of the republic. And for this particular video, ladies and gentlemen, kindly let me know the name of the town you are watching us from. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya Kwanza government is in panic. And they are worried about the frequent meetings between Uhuru Kenyatta, the former president of the Republic of Kenya, and the Ugandan president, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. Just a few weeks ago, is it even weeks really? Uhuru Kenyatta held a meeting with Museveni in Entebbe State House. Yesterday but one, Uhuru Kenyatta held another meeting with the Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. And Kenya Kwanza leaders are asking themselves some three questions. The first question they are asking themselves is why would Uhuru Kenyatta meet Museveni more frequently than William Samoy Arab Ruto? Because the truth of the matter is that Uhuru Kenyatta is not a president. William Ruto is the current president of the Republic of Kenya. And if there is to be a meeting between Kenya and Uganda, then it should be between Museveni and William Ruto. We all remember that William Ruto used to visit Museveni frequently before the last general election. I remember some at some point, I think was it in twenty was it in twenty twenty one, William Ruto was in Kampala campaigning for Museveni. And we can eliminate poverty and create jobs. Young people must be at the forefront to fight for leadership that will guarantee peace and stability so that we can build our economy expand opportunities for young people so that we can eliminate poverty and create jobs. Young people must be at the forefront. And even before the election, Museveni would host William Ruto and his Kenya and his uh, were they Tanga Tanga at that time and his Tanga Tanga brigades at status in Kampala. in fact, the relationship between Ruto and Museveni ahead of the last election was a pointer that Ruto was going to become the president of the Republic of Kenya with the support of Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. And as fate would have it, William Ruto became the president of the Republic of Kenya. Then William Ruto started visiting Kampala. Museveni hosted him several times. Then Uhuru came into the picture. And we no longer see Ruto and Museveni meeting frequently like the way they used to do. So the question is, why would Museveni entertain Uhuru Kenyatta than William Ruto. So that's the first question they are asking themselves. So the second question they are asking is Uhuru Kenyatta is a former president of the Republic of Kenya, which means Uhuru Kenyatta has a lot of information classified by virtue of being a former president of the Republic of Kenya. So the question they are asking is what do they normally discuss when they meet with the Museveni? Because it can't be about uh, the DRC. Let me just read for you what Museveni posted on his official Twitter handle. Over this particular meeting. This is what Museveni posted that uh, this afternoon at State House in Tebe, I met with the facilitator of the East Africa led Nairobi peace process, His Excellency President Retired Uhuru Kenyatta, to discuss the regional mandate alongside recent development in Eastern DRC. So, Uhuru Kenyatta has a lot of information as a former president. and if it's indeed Ruto is the one who appointed him, why would Museveni, why would he brief Museveni more frequently than he done his uh, briefing William Ruto? So those are some of the questions that is worrying these guys. The third question that is also worrying these guys is why Uhuru Kenyatta is not meeting 
William Samoe Arapruto to brief him on the process or the progress of the peace mission in DRC. If indeed Ruto is the one who appointed him. I commit on the peace initiatives in our country, in our region, sorry, including both in Ethiopia and in the Great Lakes region, I have asked my elder brother, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has done commendable engagement with those regions, and he has graciously agreed to continue chairing those, in, uh, those uh, uh, discussions on behalf of the people of Kenya. I have committed that the government of Kenya, and myself in particular, will support those initiatives that will be chaired by President Uhuru Kenyatta. And I want to thank you, Your Excellency, for graciously agreeing to support us and to help me in those interventions. Because William Ruto announced to the entire country that he's the one who appointed Uhuru Kenyatta. And remember, when Uhuru Kenyatta was going to the DRC for the swearing-in of Shekedi, <laughs> what happened? Uhuru Kenyatta used Ugandan airline. And indeed, I did a comprehensive analysis about the move by Uhuru Kenyatta to use a Ugandan airline and not Air Force One or even Kenya Airways. So, those are some of the three questions that Kenya Kwanza are asking themselves. But the question is, why are they worried? That's exactly what I want to explain to you guys on this particular platform and in this particular video. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support, because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, why is the meeting between Uhuru Kenyatta and Museveni worrying Kenya Kwanza? Let me just read for you what Uhuru Kenyatta posted yesterday on his official uh, Twitter handle. The facilitator of the East Africa-led Nairobi peace process, His Excellency President Retired Uhuru Kenyatta, today paid a courtesy call to His Excellency Kaguta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, to discuss matters on regional peace and security. Of course, I don't want to rule out the possibility that that was also discussed. But let us go back a bit. Do you think Uru Kenyatta can be going to Uganda every now and then to discuss DRC? The truth of the matter is that there's a time William Ruto went to Uganda and he tried to block certain Uru Kenyatta's businesses. So Museveni told him no. Then William Ruto came to the country, he banned some products, some milk product, because of the Brookside in quotes. And Uru Kenyatta went to Museveni and currently I'm told Uru Kenyatta is expanding his businesses in Uganda. So which means Museveni is listening more to Uhuru Kenyatta than is listening to William Samuel Arapruto. But why should William Ruto and the team get worried about the meetings? Number one, why is Museveni entertaining Uhuru Kenyatta? That is the first question. If you are the president of the Republic of Kenya, and you know Uhuru is a former president. He has a lot of information on your country. The first question you should ask yourself is, why is Museveni entertaining Uhuru Kenyatta? When Uhuru Kenyatta was going to DRC, Museveni gave him Ugandan airline. Museveni gave Uhuru Kenyatta his deputy to accompany him to DRC. When he, when he arrived in Uganda the other time, Uhuru Kenyatta was received by the first lady herself. Then, he was really entertained at State House. So, William Ruth is asking himself, why is this guy entertaining Uhuru this way? The son has always hung out with Uhuru Kenyatta in the country and in Uganda. So, you'd be thinking, why is Museveni entertaining this? Because the last time Museveni entertained Ruto, he ensured Ruto became the president of the Republic of Kenya. If you ask any Azimio supporter, they will tell you that William Ruto became the president of the Republic of Kenya because of the US, the British, and the support of Museveni. 
there are those who believe that ballot boxes were actually ferried into the country in some ballot boxes via Uganda. So they are worried because they know the ability and the, and the capacity of Museveni to influence elections in the Republic of Kenya. So that's number one. Number two, is there a fallout between William Ruto and Museveni? And how would it affect William Ruto's re-election bid? Because remember, Museveni went as far as creating some, uh, you know, Dr. Ruto's uh, leadership uh, university. Something like that in Uganda, if I remember, sometimes back. And he was physically present when William Ruto was laying that foundation. So far, I've not seen that building with my own eyes. So, majority of Kenya Kwanza are asking themselves whether there's a fallout already between Museveni and William Ruto because they no longer see them the way they should be seeing them. If Museveni, if Ruto was Museveni's project, for East Africa. Why are they not seeing each other frequently? Of course, I've read severally that the moment Ruto wanted to be the main guy in East Africa, he fell out with uh, Museveni, and of course the other day you had <laughs> Paul Kagame issuing us some statement which were directed to William Ruto. So they are asking whether there's a fallout. And what that fallout would mean for William Ruto. And the third question is, what is William Ruto's role in the DRC peace process? Because William Ruto wanted to project himself as a new face of East Africa, new face of Africa. Then, he appointed Ruto to, to, to lead that peace process. At some point, he also ventured into, was it Sudan? Those guys actually forced him out. So the question is, what is William Ruto's role in the DRC peace process? Is he going to get credit for it? Or is he going to be accused? Swalanyeti. In fact, I was reading some story the other day that when William Ruto went to DRC, he was never invited. Alleged invite. <laughs> he, he, these streets, you can really re read some very interesting uh, interesting uh, <laughs> propaganda anyway. That, that must have been propaganda. Number four is what coded message do you think Museveni and Uhuru are sending out to the country? They are sending out to Africa and are sending out to the world. That Uhuru cannot meet with Ruto, but Uhuru can walk to status in Entebbe anytime he wants. What message? Are they trying to portray William Ruto in bad light? What message are they, they trying to, to portray? And lastly, what role did Museveni play in Ruto's election? If Museveni played certain roles, then Kenya Kwanza must be worried because Museveni clearly is not entertaining William Ruto anymore. So I don't know what you think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.